Good morning, everyone, or good day, whatever time of day it may happen to be for you. I'm bringing you to a free self love today, an opportunity for you to express your body however you might like. Note that any sequencing I introduce, you can deviate from it as you will. You can take deeper poses when you find them available. Maybe you jump into an arm balance or such, or rest whenever you need rest. Totally up to you. It's your expression, your time to feel into your body. Let's arrive in a supine position onto your spine. Starting into a good morning stretch, flexing your feet forward, reaching your arms up overhead. Release one hand to your chest, the other to your belly. Softening your gaze, perhaps closing your eyes. Expanding out your senses and taking notice of the space which you now occupy. And the sounds, the temperature to your skin. Recognize the rise and fall of your torso as you breathe. Recognize the rate of your heart, feel the beat of your heart. And so just slow your breath as you need to slow your heart rate. Soften your jaw, soften your shoulders. Maybe your feet flail out slightly. Return to your good morning stretch. Reach your arms up overhead, flex your feet forward. Exhale your knees through to your chest, full wind removing pose. Take an inhale of a tight squeeze, lift your forehead up to your knees. Exhale to release. Again, inhale, tight squeeze. Exhale, release. Feet come high to the sky, though there's a bend to your knees, so it's not meant to be a core engagement just yet. Dead bug pose, reach your hands up high as well. And start to rotate to your ankles. Rotate through your wrists, shake through your hands, and shake through your feet. Each shake to be a little faster than the last, encouraging a lymphatic drain. Three more breaths. Pause in stillness. Happy baby. Hands to take outside, maybe inside edges of your feet. Direct your knees alongside your rib cage. Press your sit bones down tight to your mat. Your chin's most in towards your neck, even though your head stays rested to the ground. If your feet are too far away, grab for the underneath side of your knees. Three more breaths. Full wind removing, wrapping your arms once again around your shins. Take an inhale of a tight squeeze, lift your forehead up to your knees. Exhale to release. Inhale, tight squeeze. Exhale, release. One more inhale, tight squeeze, moving your hand underneath side your legs. Start to rock and roll up and down the length of your mat. As few or as many of these as you'd like. Shifting the weight from your hips and then back to your shoulders. Keep your chin through your chest so you can find weight to your shoulders. 
Eventually through a tabletop, crossing at your ankles, letting your hands land forward, top of your mat, walk your knees underneath of your hips. Expressing cow cats. Inhale, lift your chest, your chin. Exhale, arch your spine, chin through your chest. Breath in, cow. Flex your elbows towards each other. Breath out, cat. Elbows bend out as your chin comes in. Continue with your breath, moving between the two poses. Making it your own expression. You might soften your gaze, closing your eyes, forgetting what this is supposed to look like and just move through your hips, your shoulders. Soon pausing in through a center spine, tucking your toes, keeping your gaze down, hover your knees two inches off your mat, beast pose, bring your shoulders beyond your wrists, round out your shoulders, introducing your Ujjayi breathing, restriction of the back of your throat as you breathe out through your nose, adding heat to the body. Staying with Ujjayi breath throughout the duration of your practice. Though as often as you might need, switch into a side to release heat from the body to reclaim the rhythm of your breath. Two more. Down dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. Let your hips come high as you drive your heels down. Head drops back behind your triceps. Pedal out your knees. Most of the weight in your hands comes in towards your thumbs as your ears drop back behind your triceps a little bit more. Take a slighter bend through your knees. Let your hips come a bit higher. Then route to the back of your mat, Uttanasana Ford Fold. Hands come just outside your feet. Take a deeper bend through your knees and allow your torso to hang heavy over your thighs. Chins most in towards your chest. Arm variation of choice. Your hands might dangle. You might take opposite elbows. Maybe interlace your hands to the nape of your neck. Three breaths. Slowly one vertebra at a time, rise to Tadasana, standing mountain pose. Head, neck, shoulders to come up over top of your hips. Firm your feet at a hip width distance, roll your shoulders up by your ears, then back down along your spine. And then to the other direction. Pausing, reach your hands up high, take an inhale. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, hands through heart center. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands through heart center. One more inhale to reach. Hands through heart center, on route through Tanasana forward fold. Hands to come to the ground. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flatten your spine, direct your elbows in towards your sides. Keep your gaze just beyond your nose. Lean forward in towards your toes. Two breaths. Forward folds. Walk your hands forward, high plank. High plank, hands to the top of your mat. Wiggle back your toes. Once again, have your shoulders beyond your wrists. Shoulders, hips, heels, all in one line. Your knees are there if you'd like. Rounding out your shoulders, reaching your scapula through the sky. Keep your gaze down. Flex your glutes and flex your abs while well as you belly breathe. Ujjayi breath. Three Ujjayi breath. Two 
Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows to your side, mid plank, 90 degrees with your elbows. Remember your knees are there if you need. Flip your toes, lift, Urdha Mukha Savasana, up dog. Chin extends through the sky, maybe a cobra if you prefer. And as you exhale, come back into your down dog, Adha Mukha, breathe. If you need, you can sigh out. Vinyasas to warm the body, high to your tippy toes, come forward, inhale, exhale, mid-level, inhale, lift your chest, extend, exhale, back. Let's find three more, breath in, move forward, breath out, lower down, breath in, lift your chest, breath out, hips high, two more, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, your rhythm of your breath guides you. Inhales and exhales move you through your vinyasa. Vinyasa is entirely optional. If you'd like, use your knees, skip vinyasas whenever I say vinyasa. Gazing to the space between your hands, take a bend through your knees with an inhale. Exhale, step, maybe float to the top of your mats. Halfway lift your inhale. Exhale, forward fold, toes together, heels slightly apart, sit through your chair, Ukatasana. Hips low, arms reach high. Sit deep into your hips. Shine your shins to the back of the room so much so you can see your toes. Bring your shoulders back beyond your ears. Weight heavier towards your heels. You might be flexing your toes up and towards you. Two more breaths. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, rooting into your right foot. Step your left foot all the way back and behind. Drop your left knee, monkey lunge, anjane asana, untucking your left toes. Hands either to your right thigh or up high to the sky. Shoulders are over your hips. If your hands are high, spiral your pinkies towards each other, softening your shoulders. Leaning forward with your hips and back with your shoulders. Maybe tilting your chin to the sky, tracing your gaze along the ceiling to the back of the room. Another breath. Hands through heart center, lean forward to take inhale. Exhale, twist left elbow, right thigh. Pressing off from your left tricep, roll back your right shoulder. Point your right elbow high to the sky, maybe your gaze is high. Perhaps you tuck your back toes, lifting your back knee. Looking down in front of your right foot, frame your right foot, lift up your left leg. Standing splits. Forehead moves in towards your right shin. Flex your left toes down and slightly over towards the right. Lift your heel higher. Another breath. Step your left toes all the way back and behind, dropping your left heel 45 degree angle. Rides Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Shoulders again over your hips. Take a deeper bend through your right knee, and again, soften your shoulders. Flex your right knee forward, just over your ankle. Firm into your back left foot. Another inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down to the ground. Maybe a three-legged vinyasa if you like. Perhaps skip the vinyasa on route to your down dog. Down dog, gazing to the space between your hands, take an inhale. Exhale, step or float top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, Ukatasana, chair pose, sit your hips down, reach your arms high. Hips low. Move your knees out of view of your toes. Perhaps flex your toes. Three more breaths. 
forward folds. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands plant, step right foot back and behind. Drop your right knee and tuck your right toes, monkey lunge. Lift shoulders over your hips, hands to left thigh or up high to the sky. Extend through your body. Another inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take an inhale to lean forward. Exhale, right elbow to your left thigh. Pressing off from your right tricep. Let your left shoulder lift up and back. Furthering the thoracic extension if you like, tucking your right toes, lifting your right knee. Gazing to your left toes, standing splits. Hands frame your left foot, lift up your right leg. Forehead moves in towards your left shin. Flex your right toes down and over towards the left. Another breath. Stepping your right toes to the back of your mat. Spear of Adrasana 1. Drop your right heel to a 45 degree angle. Rise up, shoulders over your hips. Deep bend into your left knee over your left ankle. Press right hip forward, right shoulder forward, left hip, left shoulder back. Another inhale. Exhale to a vinyasa. Maybe skipping the vinyasa, maybe it's three-legged on route to your down dog. Pedal to your down dog. Walk your toes together to touch. Extend your right leg up high into the sky. Flexing your right toe down slightly over through the left. Driving your chest in towards your thighs. Bend your right knee. Fire hydrant peeing dog. Lifting your right hip over your left. Those keeping square to your shoulders. Equal weight in your hands. Come high to your left tippy toes. Drive down your left heel. Again, high left tippy toes. Drive down your left heel. One more high left tippy toes. Exhale, right knee through your chest, knee in towards your nose. Almost try to kiss your knee and step your foot gently between your hands. Wiggle back your left toes, rise to a crescent lunge. Warrior one's there if you'd like it. A deeper bend to your right knee, really high to your left toes. Maybe you take a bit of a bend into your left knee for a bit more challenge. Hands through heart center, start to lean forward over your right thigh, take an inhale. Exhale, left elbow, right thigh. Left knee could come down if you like, though try to keep it lifted. Roll back your right shoulder. Find your extension, your expression, you might fly your arms. Again, a standing split tends to frame your right foot, lift up with your left leg. And slowly step your left foot to the back of your mat. Drop your left heel, rise, Virabhadrasana 2. Facing the left side of the room with your torso, gaze is forward, right hand extends forward, left hand extends back. Flex out your right knee. Right knee's over your right ankle. Be sure your right arm isn't going off to the right, rather it's straight in front as your left arm is straight behind at the same distance or same height. Dristy, just be on your right hand. Exalt your way or flipping your right hand, bringing it high to the sky, left hand down the length of your left leg. Arching back and behind, take an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, right elbow to your right thigh. Left hand reaches forward to the front of the room, roll back your left shoulder. Another breath. Vasi Sashna, side plank to the other way. Left hand comes down in front of your right foot. Turn high to your left toes. Roll to the outside of your left ankle. Now, as you stack your right leg over top of your left, lift up your right arm, lift your hips. Knee or forearm as needed. Three breath. High plank out of vinyasa if you like on route to your down dog.
Left leg extends up high to the sky. Drive chest in towards your right thigh. Bend into your left knee. Stack your hips. Fire hydrant peeing dog. Square your shoulders equal weight in your hands. Come high to your right tippy toes. Drive down your right heel. Again, high right tippy toes. Drive down right heel. One more high right tippy toes. Inhale. Exhale, left knee in through your chest. Hold. Try to kiss your knee. And gently step your left foot in between your hands. Rising to a crescent lunge, high to your right toes, shoulders up over your hips. Maybe take the bend into your right knee. Two more breaths. Second exhale, hands to your heart center, lean forward to an inhale. Exhale, twist, right elbow, left thigh. Pressing off from your right tricep, rolling back your left shoulder, leaning forward just a bit more. Your extension, your expression, you might fly your arms. Again, standing splits, looking to your left foot, frame your left foot, lift your right leg up high to the sky. Stepping right foot to the back of your mat, dropping your right heel, rising via Vajrasana 2, Warrior 2. Deep bend in your left knee over your left ankle. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Arms reach front and back sides of the room. Exalt your warrior, flipping your left hand, bringing your left hand high, right hand down the length of your right leg. Leaning back. Another inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right hand reaches to the front of the room. Roll back your right shoulder. Two more breath. Basi stash in a side plank. Right hand comes in front of your left foot. Turn high to your right toes. Side plank facing to the left. Roll to the outside of your right ankle. Stack your legs and lift up your hips. A knee or a forearm is there if you need. Free breath. High plank. Out of vinyasa if you like on route to your down dog. Gaze into your hands, bend through your knees, take a breath in. Breath out, step or float, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, sit to your chair, Ukatasana. This time take your hands together, interlace your hands and press your palms forward like an old man knuckle crack as you reach your triceps back behind your ears. Sit deep. Two more breath. Hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, left elbow, right thigh. Twisted chair. Sit your hips lower than your head. Make sure your left knee doesn't pop in front of your right. Roll your right tricep back. Maybe fly your arms if that's there for you. You may find a side bakas and a side crow if it's available. Hands plant down at the shoulder with distance. Lifting your right hip to your right elbow, leaning your shoulders forward, perhaps lifting your toes, perhaps flying your legs. Though rooting firmly in towards your right foot, transferring in through your side lunge. Left elbow stays to your right thigh, higher to your left toes. If you need your left knee down, that's okay. Engage your core and hover your left elbow off your right thigh. Three breaths. Fear of a draw in a two, drop your left heel. Left hand behind, right hand in front. Warrior two, exalt your warrior peaceful, warrior inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Extended side angle, staying here for some time. You might find a half bind with your left hand behind your right thigh. Maybe your right hand reaches underneath your right leg to find your left hand, full bind. Perhaps birds of paradise looking forward to your right toes, stepping your left toes up to your right and engaging your core as you lift up the bind of your leg. Maybe extending your leg. 
three more breath. So it's your practice, stay where you need to stay. We're all meeting back and through our extended side angle. From extended side angle into Bastisashana, again, side plank. Left hand in front of your right foot, open up to the right side. This time, perhaps a rock star stepping your right foot in behind your left leg, leaning back your right shoulder. Through to a runner's lunge, right foot to the top of your mat frame, your right foot turn high to your left toes. Thunderbolt lunge hovering off your right thigh, gaze is down to your right toes. Thunderbolt lunge, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three, lift your left heel. Lift up with your shoulders and your left heel simultaneously, level to your right hip. Flexing your left toes down and over towards the right. Hands can be through heart center, airplanes, or straight in front for most challenge. Two more breaths. Bending into your right knee to step your left toes all the way back and behind. Bring your hands into your low back, stay high to your left toes. Start to hover your left knee as shoulders come over your hips, lift your chest, your chin, direct your elbows towards each other and trace your gaze to the back of the room. Two more breath. Virabhadrasana two, drop your left heel, open up, warrior two. Exalt your warrior, take an inhale. Exhale to cycle through. Add a vinyasa if you like. Back through to a down dog. Let a sigh out if you need. Gazing to the space between your hands, bend through your knees, breath in. Breath out, step or float top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Toes together, heels apart. Sit through your chair, Ukatasana. Old man, knuckle crack, interlace your hands, press your palms forward. Reach your triceps back behind your ears. Sit deeper with your hips. Two more breath. Hands to heart center, take an inhale. Exhale, twist right elbow, left thigh. Pressing off from your right tricep. Be sure your right knee doesn't pop in front of your left. Sit your hips deeper. Perhaps you fly your arms or even your side to Kasana if you like. Side curl. Just an expression that you might have in your practice today. But we all firm into our left foot and slowly extend your right foot all the way back and behind. Right elbow stays to your left thigh. Added challenge hovering your right elbow off your left thigh. Three breath. Dropping your right heel, opening up Virabhadrasana two. Warrior two. Facing the right side of the room. Exalt your warrior, peaceful warrior. Inhale. Exhale, extended side. Left elbow, right thigh. Left elbow, left thigh. Right hand reaches to the front of the room. Roll back your right shoulder. Find your expression. Maybe a half bind. Maybe a full bind. Maybe birds of paradise. In each case, you're still rolling back your right shoulder. So eventually we all meet back and through our extended side. One route through Vasistashan side plank, facing left side of the room, right hand down in front of your left foot, pivot open, lift your hips. Knee or forearms there if you need. Perhaps a rock star stepping your left foot in and behind your right leg, leaning back your left shoulder. In through low runner's lunge, left foot to the top of your mat. Frame your left foot behind your right toes. Hover off your left thigh. Thunderbolt lunge, hands reach forward. Gaze is down. Mirabhadrasana three, warrior three. Hover your right leg. Lift your right leg, lift your shoulders. Flex your right toe down and over towards the left. Again, hands can be heart center, airplane 
or straight out in front. Another breath. Bending to your left knee, step right foot to the back of your mat. Move your hands into your low back. Flex your elbows towards each other as you start to hover your right knee, bring your shoulders over your hips. Lift your chest, lift your chin, trace your gaze to the back of the room. Warrior two, dropping your right heel, facing the right side of the room. Exalt your warrior, take an inhale. Exhale, vinyasa through. Back to your down dog. Down dogs, lift your right leg up high to the sky. Fire high through pink dog, take an inhale. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Breath in, extends. Breath out, taps, right tricep. Breath in, extends. Left tricep. Continue with that pattern. Though if you like, you can either be down to your left knee or add a core challenge of little boxes, right knee, right tricep, over to left, down to left wrist, over to right. Up, over, down, over, up. Five, four, three, two, Last one, step right foot to the outside of your right hand, lizard pose. Try to keep your left knee lifted, though if you need your left knee down, that's okay. Flex out your right knee. Right knee's over your right ankle. Lift up your right arm. Roll back your right shoulder, start to hover your left knee, though it might be down, inhale. Exhale, weave your right arm underneath your left, lift your hips and look over your left shoulder. Inhale, reach and hover. Exhale, weave. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Right hand comes down to the ground. Engage your core to lift your right leg back high to the sky. Three-legged dog, take inhale. Exhale, right knee through your chest. Hold, try to kiss your knee. Step foot in between your hands. Wiggle back your left toes. Breathe. Then hover your left leg, standing splits, forehead in towards your right shin. Maybe warrior three if you prefer, lifting your shoulders, engaging through your torso. And start to hover your left knee next to your right. Grab hold of your left knee, stand straight through your right leg. Shoulders up over your hips. Take hold of your left knee with your right hand. Left hand, left hip, twist back your left shoulder, look over your left shoulder to the back side of the room. Maybe extend out your left arm. Maybe your right hand takes the outside of your left foot, extending your left leg forward. Just an option. Though eventually, Pirva Bra, Parita Artichandrasana, reverse half moon, Left foot comes to the back of the room. Left hand in front of your right foot. Flex your left toes down and over towards the right. Right hand to your right hip. Roll back your right shoulder. Maybe lift your right arm high. Three breath. Switching Ardha Half moon. Right hand comes in front of your right foot. Left hand to your left hip, roll open your left side as you straighten through your right leg. Maybe lift up your left arm. Two more breaths. Stepping back, your upper draws in the two, warrior two. Exalt your warrior, take an inhale. Exhale, extended side. On route through Vasi Sashna side plank facing the right side, left hand in front of your right foot, outside your left ankle, stack your legs, lift your hips, maybe lift your right leg. If you want a little bit more challenge, right elbow, right knee, tap. Let's take five, 
four, three, two. Last one, high plank, you might add a vinyasa on route to your down dog. Breathe. Sigh if needed. Add more vinyasas if you don't want to rest. Let's take five vinyasas. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Left leg charges up and high to the sky. Fire hydrant peeing dog. Inhale. And exhale, left knee, left tricep. Back high inhale. Left knee, right tricep. Breath in, extend. Breath out, left tricep. Breath in, extend. Breath out, right tricep. Stay with this pattern. If you need your right knee down, you can take your right knee down. So maybe you deepen by finding little boxes. Left knee, left tricep, over to right, down to right wrist, over to left, up, over, down, over, up. Five, four, three, two, last one, step left foot to the outside of your left hand, lizard pose. Wiggle back your right toes, right knee's there if you need. Flex out your left knee, root into your right hand. Lift up your left arm, roll back your left shoulder as you hover your right knee. Inhale, exhale, weave your left arm underneath your right, look over your right shoulder. Keep the flexion of your left knee out. Inhale, reach and hover right knee. Exhale, weave and lift hips. We have five, four, three, two, Last one, left hand down to the ground, engage your core to lift up your left leg, up high into the sky, inhale. Exhale, left knee through your chest, hold. Slowly step foot in between your hands. Runner's lunge. Reclaim the rhythm of your breath. Standing splits or warrior three. Lift up your chest. Keep the flexion of your right toes. Start to hover your right knee next to your left and take hold of your right knee as you stand straight up, straight to your left leg. Left hand takes the outside of your right knee, right hand, right hip. Twist, look over your right shoulder. Maybe extend back your right arm. And then maybe your left hand takes the outside of your right foot and extends your right leg forward. Transition, challenging one. Right hand will come in front of your left foot, right leg straight behind, roll back your left shoulder. Pavrita Adichandrasana, reverse half moon. Left hand to your left hip, flex your right toes down and over to the left, roll back your left shoulder, maybe extend your left arm high. Three breath. Adichandrasana, half moon. Switching left hand in front of your left foot, right hand to your right hip, roll back your right shoulder. Maybe lift up your right arm. Two more breaths. And bending into your left knee to step your right foot all the way back and behind. Rise, be able to draw some two. Warrior two, exalt your warrior, inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. On route through Vasisthasana, side plank, right hand down. Pivot to the outside of your right ankle, stack your legs, lift your hips, knee or forearm as needed. Maybe tap left knee, left elbow. Extend, tap five, four, three, two. Last one, high plank. Add a vinyasa if you like. On route to your down dog. Breathe. If you don't want break, you can add five vinyasas. 
or five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Back into your down dog, toes together to touch. Lift your right leg up high into the sky. Fire hydrant peeing dog, take inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, hold. Falling triangle, falling star. Drop your left heel, kick your right foot out to the left. Really slide your right heel out as you roll back your left shoulder. Some of you might express differently by hovering your right foot. If you need to be down to your right knee, you're welcome to. Three breath. This is your falling triangle. We'll come back to this in a moment. So eventually left hand down, right leg back high to the sky. Inhale, exhale right knee through your chest, hold. Slowly step foot in between your hands. Rise, crescent lunge. Crescent lunge deeper, bend into your left knee. Bend at your elbows, lift your chest, lift your chin, take inhale. Exhale, press forward. Thunderbolt, hover over your right thigh. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, press forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand in front of your right foot. Lift up your left leg. Right hand to your right hip as you roll back your right shoulder. Flex your left toe over towards the right. Straighten through your right leg. Maybe lift up your right arm. Another breath. Right hand in front of your right foot. Open Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon. If you want to play this time with a bind, left hand can take the inside of your left foot. Maybe not. As you roll back your left shoulder. Sugar cane, candy cane. Two more breaths. Stepping back in through warrior two. Warrior two, breathe. Take your hands to your heart center. Think about the outside of your left ankle coming above your right knee. Figure four. Sit deep into your right knee. Flex your left toes towards your left knee. Now you can see here, you can play with an arm balance or to challenge yourself a bit more, you might drag your left elbow around your left leg towards your left foot. You might even place your left elbow into your left foot, pressing off and rolling back your right shoulder. Another breath. Rising back up, sitting deep once again, wrapping your left leg around your right. Once, maybe twice, eagle legs, shoulders over your hips, extend your arms high, inhale. Exhale, left arm underneath, right. Elbows touch, hands might touch, or hands could be to your shoulders. Lift up your elbows, press your shoulders back. Now either staying here, or inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, crunch elbows to left knee. Let's find three, two. Either way, elbows to your left knee, Flying eagle, extend your left leg straight back and behind, flexing your left toes behind. Another inhale, exhale, step down your left toes, drop your left heel, open up Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Warrior two, exalt your warrior inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left hand reaches forward. So just straighten your right leg, Trikonasana triangle pose, Right hand on your right shin. Press right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Core challenge if you'd like. Don't lock through your right knee. Micro bend through your right knee. Both hands reach forward. Three breath. Again, your falling triangle. Right hand behind your right leg. All the way to the right edge of your mat. Float your right leg over towards the left. Roll back your left shoulder. Another breath. Come back into three-legged dog, left hand down, right leg back high. Either out of vinyasa 
Or maybe flip your dog, bring your shoulders over your wrist. Step right foot to the outside of your left mat as you straighten through your left leg and reach back your right arm. Turn your chest to the sky, lift your hips. Another breath. Out of vinyasa when you're ready, right hand down. And let's do again five vinyasas, but if you want rest, take rest. Two more. Down dog. Left leg lifts up high to the sky. Fire hydrant pink dog just for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee, right tricep hold. Falling triangle, falling star. Drop your right heel, kick your left foot out, roll back your right shoulder. Maybe hover your left leg. Three breath. Right hand back down, lift your left leg again high to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, left knee through your chest. Slowly step left foot between your hands. Rise, crescent lunge. Bend your elbows, lift your chest, your chin, take inhale. Exhale, press forward. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, press forward. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana, right hand in front of your left foot. Reverse half moon, lift up your right leg. Left hand to your left hip, roll back your left shoulder, flex your right toes over to the left. And maybe lift up your left arm. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Left hand replaces your right hand as your right hand moves to your right hip. Roll open your right side. Maybe sugar cane, candy cane, taking the inside of your right foot with your right hand. Opening through the bind. Two breath. Back into warrior two. Bending your left knee, stepping your right foot all the way back and behind. Hands to heart center. Think about the outside of your right ankle coming above your left knee. Figure four. Find some buoyancy, right ankle above your left knee. Flex your right toes towards your right knee. Sit deep through your left knee. If you like to play with an arm balance, by all means. More challenge. Drag your right elbow along your right leg towards your right foot. Maybe into your right foot as you press off. Two more breaths. And rising back up, sitting deep and wrapping your right leg around your left. Once, maybe twice, shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms high, eagle legs into eagle arms. Right arm underneath left, elbows touch. Hands can be together or to your shoulders. Lift your elbows, keep pressing your shoulders back. Maybe the crunches, inhale, lift. Exhale, elbows to your right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch. Either way, we all crunch on route through a flying eagle. Fly your right leg straight back and behind. Another breath. Warrior two, drop your right heel to the back of your mat. Open up to face the right side. Exalt your warrior, take inhale. Exhale, extended side. Trikonasana, straighten through your left leg. Left hand can be to your left shin. Micro bending your left knee. Press your left shoulder forward and your right shoulder back. Perhaps the core challenge, floating both hands forward. Three breath. Falling triangle, bending into your left knee, left hand to the left edge of your mat. Slide your left foot all the way over to the right. 
as you roll back your right shoulder. Another breath, three-legged dog, right hand comes down, lift your left leg high, fire hydrant peeing dog, maybe a vinyasa, or perhaps shoulders over your wrists, stepping left foot to the outside of your right mat, straight right leg, flipping your dog, reaching left hand behind, lifting your hips, gazing beyond your brow towards the floor. Another breath. Vinyasa. Through to your down dog. We'll start to slow it down. So if you want, add five vinyasas. Last one. Lifting your right leg up high to the sky. We're slowing it down. Half pigeon. Right knee behind your right wrist. Right foot over to the left edge of your mat. Slide back your left foot. Can you bring your right heel a little bit more forward? If not, that's okay. If you'd like a figure four on your back. Or even deer pose. Sitting to your right hip and sliding your left knee behind your right heel. Though if you're in half pigeon... Left leg straight behind, lift your shoulders over your hips, find an extension through your spine, maybe reach your arms high. Then use your exhales to come in through depth. Perhaps your hands, maybe your forearms, maybe your chest. Ten more breaths. Slowly breathing. Come out, fall onto your right hip. Slide your left leg to the top left corner of the room. Right foot into your left leg. Right hand behind your right hip. Rock star. Press down your right shin. Flex down your left toes. Lift up your hips and reach your left arm behind. Find some circles in your left shoulder, swinging your left arm. Moving one direction. Than the other. And when you're ready to come down, sit back to your right hip. Square your shoulders over your left toes, flex your left toes towards you. Keep your right knee pressed down, lift up your chest. Exhale to fold in towards your left leg. Hands can climb up the length of your left leg. Maybe as far as to your left foot, but maybe not. Wherever your hands do find, grip firm with your hands. Let your elbows start to bend out. As you use the grip to pull your forehead closer to your left knee. Chins through your chest. Another breath. Bring your feet forward, cross your ankles, down dog. Left leg high to the sky. Fire hydrant pink dog, half pigeon. Left knee, left wrist, left foot falls over to the right edge of your mat. Remember, figure four on your back, deer pose if you like, as modifications. Otherwise, right leg straight behind, shoulders over your hips. 
Extend through your spine, holding your right hip level to your left. Use your exhales to come through into the depth of your pigeon. Perhaps forearms, perhaps chest. Ten breaths. Sitting onto your left hip, swinging your right leg to the top right corner of the room. Left foot into your right leg, press down your left knee. Rockstar left hand behind your left hip. Use your left shin as a kickstand as you press down your right toes. Lift your hips and roll your right shoulder back. Make big circles with your right arm. Rolling out your right shoulder. Moving in one direction. Then the other. Eventually sitting to your left hip, flexing your right foot forward, your right toes towards your right foot, squaring your shoulders over your right leg. Keep your left knee pressed down and start to fold over your right leg. Hands gripping to your right leg. Chin to your chest, curl in. Use your exhales to depth. Both feet to the top of your mat at a hip width distance, hands behind your hips. Fingertips point outwards, root in through all four corners of your feet, lift your hips, drop your head behind. Opening through your shoulders, slowly lower back down, extend your legs forward. Bring your hands to your heart center and slowly lower all the way back to your spine. Savasana, still pose. However you'd like to arrive in your still pose. Softening once again. Take reflection in your practice reflection of your experience of self, noticing the language you use in speaking to yourself. Often we form conversation to self that is of restraint. And restraint's great, as long as it wasn't self-doubt. Being sure to encourage oneself Affirming oneself, finding gratitude and appreciation for arriving to your mat today. So from this space, you form intention, dedication. you in your savasana. Thank you all so much for joining in a practice today. It means a lot, even though we're through the interwebs, having your energy, join my energy, 
is so appreciated and therefore the energy and the light within my heart truly sees and respects that energy and light in all your hearts. Namaste.